Hey, Overtime Garagers, welcome back to the next installment of the Step Brother shop truck here. This is the 54. And uh, we're going to crack into this project by first swapping out the uh, rear axle. On this truck, someone has taken the time, spent the effort to put a Ford 9 inch in here. And in doing a little research, checking out the uh, label on this vehicle. It reads WEB BF 9DC across the top and then across the bottom it's a hidden two, you can't see it, 247, 9 and 800 C. So all those codes translate into a Ford 9 inch axle that has a 247 gear ratio. Originally, this axle was on a 78 to 79 Ford LTD. So, that's all well and good, but I don't think it's going to work well for this truck that's going to have an LS in it. Those gears are just too tall or short, however you want to describe it. So, here's the plan 95 S10 with an axle that's a little bit narrower so this one actually fits well if you didn't want to chop the bed sides but this one will allow me to run a deeper dish wheel see how that axle sticks way out there's only so much uh, depth you can get on an offset for a wheel so we'll put this little bit narrower axle and its code is uh GT5 as found in the glove box the G codes are for the gear ratio that's a 410 ratio on this truck and it looks pretty nasty and dirty but we'll clean it all up and stick it under this truck probably with some lowering blocks to get it setting down a little lower probably three inches and then we'll also drop the front with some drop spindles, two inches. So that thing's sitting pretty high on the front currently. And that's the plan. So we'll get started on that so we can uh, build from there. We're gonna start on the foundation, the chassis, and then we'll work into the uh, bed mounts, cab mounts, engine mounts. Um, probably start with the engine actually so we can set everything around it Yeah, it's already got an s10 frame under this at least so We get the modern geometry in the front end disc brakes on the front and uh, That's working well on rust delicious over there, so We'll be comparing it to rusty this whole build and uh, try and do things as well or as or better. All right. Hey guys, here comes the axle out of the Step Brother 54. And sorry about that. Um, should have been just really easy for big bolts. Yeah, they're big, but loosen those and come out, but by the pile of tools over here, you can tell that one of them just wasn't cooperating. Um, heating it up didn't help, PV blaster didn't help, Pen penetrant foil, sawzall wasn't going too well either, sledgehammer to break it loose. I think it was actually stuck in the sleeve just rusted to that sleeve so figure out how to deal with that probably have to press it out press a new rubber bushing in if you want to reuse those leaf springs 
But yeah, coming out. And the token shot of Rusty. That's delicious. Okay, we're pulling out the axle from the donor S10. It's a 95 S10. The axle's on its way out. Because we're pressed for space, we have the stepbrother hanging out above the truck. So I had to use jacks, which I'm not used to, because I usually have the luxury of the lift. And here's the axle out of the 54. So we'll just do the swap. Put this one under the S10 so I can roll it around. Then we'll put that in the 54. Just pulled the bolts at the four corners the same way I pulled them on the other axle. Should just be a swap and remove and replace. Also going to take that fuel tank and use it. There's the front frame mount. Tough to see the rear mounts. This one came out easier, and that reminds me we're going to have to press this out. Here we go. Three jaw puller. Just pushing through the uh, both the bolt that I cut off and the bushing. So I'll have to replace the bushing and bolt. But uh, yeah, it's working smooth. Okay, overtime garagers, we have reached another milestone getting this rear end swapped. We had that uh, crappy four nine inch that was a little wider. And now we've got this S10 10 bolt, which is a little narrower. Will allow us to run a wider width wheel and tire, similar to what's going on over here. So you can see that's reaching out to the edge of the fender real well, and that's 10 inches wide, 20 inch wheel. So I liked the way that looked, and we'll do that again here, although it might be a different style wheel. Um, but you can see how I had to lift up the bed so that these bed sides would be out of the way of the tire because it'll actually hit. So we'll need to trim that bed side so that it'll drop down around that wheel and tire. And then, let's see, I tubbed this guy, so take a similar approach. Oh, then we'll get that fuel tank in here too. Nasty old rear end is going to be cleaned up and good as new when we're done with it. So There we go. Alright, we made a rough cut. Pulled out the plasma cutter. Made a uh, rough opening so we can set this bed down. Here's our Lotos plasma cutter. We're using that 
LTPDC2000D. End of it looks like that. Sounds like butter. Let's do the thing over here. Made a rough opening and we'll clean it up once we're sure it's the right size. See, I don't want it to be too big, otherwise you'll see it outside of the tub. And uh, you need it big enough to, to clear, so might have to make a few cuts just to be sure.